2014 Subaru Trek. So I'm testing the refrigerant on this one and it's 100% pure 134 refrigerant. Only 1.6% air mixed in and I was surprised because the customer stated that he did recharge it himself or top it off, not sure which one he did, uh, with the little cans. And 1.6% air, not horribly bad for a guy who did it himself. Um, not the great, zero would be nice, but even the manufacturers get air inside the systems from the day it was manufactured. It's not always pure. So that part is done. I know there's not contaminated refrigerant with a different refrigerant in there. He's complaining of running out, running low and charging it up. And I have not seen any signs of oil anywhere, even around where we all know Subarus usually leak at the O-rings here. But I wonder if it's because the owner washed off, you know, with some carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner or something like that, all the evidence of leaks. But I went around with my refrigerant leak detector, the Infracon, which you can get at True Tech Tools. Don't forget, you can get 8% off discount. I have a discount code, LECAIR, L-E-C-H-A-I-R, all capital letters, all one word. You put it on the coupon code on checkout and all HVAC tools, you get an 8% discount on and $50 or more free shipping. So that's it on this one. Uh, for now, I'm gonna jump to the next. I'm gonna put my gauges on, uh, do recovery, do a vacuum and uh, he mentioned that the gap on, he did his own research online and he said, check the gap if a shim needs to come out. And I looked over at the gap and it's approaching the maximum of the range of roughly 11 thousandths to 26 thousandths is the range of the gap. His gap is still good. It's just getting up there, but it's okay. So let's keep on going and see what I find. 